check, checkity check. How's the sound now? So that's why the live stream, it looks like there was technical issues with the audio. How does it sound? Let me know if you guys can hear the audio. Thank you for the heads up, by the way, Delbert. Thanks. I'm going to play with the microphone to see if I can get the other audio working. Zoom. Let's see if we can get that. Check, check. All right, so that's good. So we're going to have to just turn on um, microphone. Hey, hey, what's up, Mel? How's the audio sound? What are you making? Ooh, that's a good question. So we're playing with, I got this new espresso maker. So I was kind of experimenting. What I'm going to actually do is we're going to bring it the party outside when my two fighters get here. Some of my buddies are going to be thrown down on the barbecue. We've got buns. We've got our hot dogs, traditional hot dog buns, nothing special, no gluten-free, nothing like that, just regular buns. Um, but let me show you guys what we're going to be throwing down. I'm going to be using some accessories here from Amazon. We got turkey cheddar dogs. We've got our sweet Italian sausage. That's what she said. Um, and then I also wanted to highlight, we got our frozen veggies. A lot of times I feel like, oh, well, I don't have time for veggies. Like we're going to use our grillman basket right here. Throw the veggies in this bad boy. Throw it in on the Traeger smoker. Sounds like a great barbecue. Thanks, Mel. And yeah, we're gonna be using the Traeger because the Traeger's got some deals right now. I took the turkey burgers out. We got our Bubba turkey burgers. Can't go wrong. We're going to be rocking it up in here. How you doing, by the way, Mel? Mel, also drop your link for whatever you got going on from your Amazon stuff to any other platform you want people to check you out on. Guys, support Mel if you're watching on Facebook or anything like that. And speaking of all that, I'm going to highlight. We just went over that. I also have my Grillman's digital meat thermometer. We're going to use outside. Check all the temperatures and everything. Make sure everything's safe. Then we're going to go into the Traeger grill. I got the uh, Pro Series 22. Then I also have the Grillman cover. We're going to get into that. Got all the fun things. I got some really cool things. Um, I want to highlight the OBS webcam. Now, I let the kind of espresso cool down here a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's going to be intense. I like. I don't drink espresso. I just drink regular coffee. But I figured what better time than the coach's coffee corner to experiment with some of um, – I'm going to let this cool down, actually. Because uh, I want to not only have it on the stovetop, but I also wanted to experiment with this – on the grill as well um but i'm going to check the audio here because i know the audio wasn't working before let me see if i can get better audio connection something's up with the audio here turn that off turn that off i think i'm going to actually throw on my mic mic check mic check how about now delbert how about now I'll be right back, guys. I'm going to grab my other mic. Connect it up. All right, y'all. Um, let's see if this mic's going to work. I need that for sure. No, of course, when I need the mic, the mic's dead. Mic check sounds good, sounds good. And this one's dead. So we're going to charge this puppy. Now, that's the good thing about, honestly, I don't even have this product in the stream right now, but having this six station charging device, I can charge it up right here. Yeah, the thing was dead. So we're going to charge that puppy up. But I do have the microphone in my laptop, so we'll kind of keep it on that. And then I'm not 100% sure why the OBS isn't syncing for the microphone. I might have to allow it which I thought I did, but listen, the camera's working, so I can't get too picky here. I got to make sure I automatically adjust mic volume. Nice. That's all good. Maybe I got to just play with this. Sound, internal speakers. All right. Either way, we're having a grand old time. I'm going to update this. I'm going to share this on the Discord as well since the new link got taken, or the, we got the new link. So we will drop it on the Discord as well. Just because I know everybody's like, Mike, I tried that other link and it's not working. So don't worry, I got you guys. Got you. I got you. And again, we're going to be throwing it down. Hey, if you guys know me and you're in the area, come by the house. Come get some food. If you're welcome to my house, you already know where I live. If you're not, if you don't know where I live, then you're probably not welcome to my house. 
Unless you're at Rogue Combat Club and you just happen to have not been to my house yet, then that's cool. Come on by. Hit me up. Shoot me a message. So we got the uh, OBS bot highlighted right now. Again, I'm excited because we got a couple of really cool things coming at you guys, but I'm going to highlight the Coffee Gator. We'll go into some of our other sponsor stuff. Like I got, I talked about the Geek Chef Air Fryer Toaster in the other live stream before it cut out. And that's why I think it actually, the audio got a little tinked up is because I was moving it around a little bit too much. So let me play with our audio settings here. Boom. Okay, that's good. Let's play with our settings here. I wonder why the audio is not picking up. Check. I don't know. I guess it just doesn't. The audio is just not picking up on this. I'm not sure. Normally, and like normally, it's like totally good to go. I've used it in multiple meetings this week. I think it might be my laptop. I got to update some software. Something's going down. That's all right. We're charging the other microphone. So by the time we got to go outside, we'll be all good to go. So we're going to line everything up. I'm kind of debating if I'm going to put a seasoning on these veggies. I might just keep it as is and throw some sauce on at the end. This is also another one. Again, this isn't even a sponsor. This isn't even in the stream. But I do have some sweet and spicy G Hughes. This is sugar-free barbecue sauce. 10 calories per serving. This is absolutely clutch. They have like a regular barbecue sauce flavor. I think I, think I might mess with this. I think I might mess with this and put it on the veggies. Kind of mop it up here a little bit. So let's see. How much actual coffee or espresso is left? And then um, we'll go through some other things. We got, got the speakers hooked up here. Let's highlight the speakers here for a second. I don't know if you, how much you can hear them. I don't want to make them too loud. Let's see. Let's pour this. See how much espresso we got. I feel like that's a lot, right? So now here's the thing. What we would do is cool this off. I'm hesitant to even like touch this because it's still super hot. But what you basically do is you screw this bottom part off. I'm actually going to use this is actually where I can use one of the other products we got. This is perfect timing. Watch this. Watch this segue. Got our heat resistant cooking gloves. Kitchen perfection. I'm going to highlight them right now. We got them outside. I'll be right back, though. We're going to put these bad boys to the test, see how heat resistant they are. All right, so let's really test this out. Let's see. Camera right over here. Come on, OBS. OBS bot. Come and see here. Oh, no. So we got our heat resistant gloves. Pop these puppies open. Let's see how much I can actually, like, finally handle different items. Now, the cool thing with this pack, they did come with, I like they have the individual gloves. It's kind of just like a big hand. Um, they did come with these hooks that you can stick on, so these little loops can stick on to like the kitchen counter, whatever that looks like. Pretty sweet, but we're gonna test this out. Yeah, I don't have to worry about burning my hands right now because this is what, 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 what. So this is actually a perfect combo. I would recommend getting together. Considering I didn't even really plan this, I was thinking more for the grill, but okay. So we're gonna just rinse this bottom part off. So, Pop this off. There we go. Very nice. Well, let's see how easily this part pops off. That's the only downside. I don't even know how to get that part out, honestly. So this is the downside. I'm, I'm feeling right off the bat because I don't have my hands easily. I can't use my finger to pop it in there. So I wonder what they like. They could just pop it off. Honestly, right? Let's pop. Yeah, just throw it upside down. That kind of cleans itself. It's pretty simple to get clean. We fill this back up. I'm going to put some more coffee in here. We're going to throw it on the Traeger. And we're going to smoke this espresso. Bam. Clean that puppy up. We'll see how it goes. Let me know if you guys got questions on this. Because I feel like this would be interesting. So I'll go back to this for a hot second. I'm going to test all this fun stuff out. All right. Let's go into some other awesome sauce. Again, while I'm going through all this, we got the OBS, but I'm going to highlight this just so you can see the benefits of it. Whether you are creating content, look how seamlessly this tracks. Cool thing is I can use gesture control to zoom in and out. I think I turned gesture control off, which is another great benefit. 
You could turn the gesture control on and off if you want it to. So let me go to more details. Yeah, I have gesture control and locking on or off. So now let's turn it back on. Uh, I have the microphone status during sleep. Boom. Let's check to see if that updates anything. Screen. Yeah, there's so many cool things you can kind of tinker with. Let's go to that. Presets. All the fun. So now look, look at this. I can use that gesture bone. Now we can zoom in, right? So now you guys can come hang with me. Let's say I don't want you to see the rest of my kind of kitchen because it's kind of gross or whatever, which it's not. Shout out to my wife. Thank you for always helping out. Now let's pop this bad boy on. We're going to put some coffee on here. And again, I guess that's what makes the difference between coffee and espresso is the concentration of it. Learn, learn new stuff every time. So now I'll zoom this back out. Look at that. See? I don't even have to move. It zooms right back out. Oh, we got a party here. I think they're here. Come on in. What's up, y'all? Yeah, no, yeah, Christian. Just finishing up some espresso right now. They're going to bring this bad boy outside. What's up? Say, hey, the Amazon people. What's up, guys? Say, hey, the Amazon people. Oh, what's good? Yeah, we got that motion tracking tech. We got all the fun, man. So this espresso you talk about. So that's yeah, that's for you guys. It's hot though. Like don't bring it. Oh, that one, that one. I'm gonna make mine on the grill. So I don't know if you ever had smoked espresso. Like we're gonna throw it on the Traeger and smoke it and see what happens there. You ever have espresso? Uh, I've, I've had espresso, not smoked espresso. So this is just stove top espresso. Just there you go. If you want some like almond milk or regular milk, feel free. And then we're gonna experiment, guys. We're gonna experiment. Oh, oh man, it likes you, Noah. <laughs> it like picks up on I don't know what. But so as you can tell, this is what's cool. So you have multiple people, guys. So I, this is like one of the sponsored products. So I'm just kind of highlighting it. We'll finish getting the espresso thing set up. Now we're gonna bring this party outside. And then do you guys have water? Are you hydrating? Yeah. Good job, hydrating. So uh, yeah. Noah and Christian, drop your social media. How the people follow you? Do they want to like follow you on Instagram or Facebook yeah, or whatever? Right. Uh, what is my Instagram? Uh, Christian Stover ninety seven. He's my Instagram. <coughs> Screenshot which is a little bit. Watch your back. No, uh, mine's a your dog jit. No, no, your dog JJ. Your dog jiu jitsu. Uh, uh, some cool jiu jitsu clips on there. Who's here? All my stuff. You want? You should. Yeah. You want yeah. That's not it. Yeah, your dog JJ. We're gonna have a real party now, and kids are about to roll in. Burger buns you got right there? Yeah, we got buns, we got burger buns, we got hot dog buns. We got all the buns. Then we're gonna bring it into this like new setup we got outside. It's good. It's good. It's not that bad. Don't we have an espresso and it's like I think it's really good. This is like smooth. I think it's also what Ashley picked as far as like the beans. Hey Woody! Good job. So that's no. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's Noah. That's Christian. I was saying the the beans yeah. that you got. It's not like too much. So this is a new uh, the espresso uh, maker. So I just made it on the stove top, but now I'm gonna bring it outside and do it on the Traeger and smoke it and see how it changes the flavor profile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure that would be fun. I'm also I don't want to touch this. Oh wow, this is actually not hot to the touch anymore. Like I literally just cooked this and it's still good. So we'll tighten this up. We'll clean it off. Bam. I needed this too. Yeah. You pick me up. Yeah, he's like, I still got an energy drink. Say, damn. Yeah, he was like, oh no, Mike's got us. Oh, you guys, you can brought some fruit. Yeah, that was it. I didn't bring nothing. All right, let's bring this outside. You guys are going to hang with the peeps outside. No, I'm going to bring it all out there too. I just, but I'm going to grab all the like the, the food, the meat, all the stuff. All right, y'all. So. Let's get you guys set up over here in the hot corner. Yeah, dude, we're about to hit pads and stuff, but I figure we'll get the grill going, we'll get that going. I'll just make sure we can Yeah, I mean, unless you don't want to train. Which I know you don't like training. <laughs> I like testing All right, so the one thing I didn't think about, guys, is where I'm going to put the laptop itself. So we're going to station this right over here for now. I don't even know what's going on over here. Oh, that's, that's good. I lied. Take just not long. So, no, can you just hold that for a second? Yeah, I'm going to get like a chair and or table for us to be able to hold this down. Then we're going to get into the rest of the time. 
So, yeah. How's it being back in the road, man? Feels good, man. Feels like you got some good rounds today. Yeah, I just got out a little early to just get some stuff done, shopping, calls, but. I hear you, man. I was bummed I didn't get any rounds in here. I realized that in hindsight. Let's see if we can fit right there. Oh, oh look at that. It's perfect. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to just bring this up all the way over here. We're going for a little adventure, y'all. A little adventure. This way, because we're also going to show off this cool love scene we got going on over here. Well. Move you guys right over here. There we go. There we go, everybody. All right, let's grab my phone. Make sure that's all good. How we roll, Noah? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. All right, so we have the OBS bomb, but now you're gonna see Noah. Can you just pop a squat on this beautiful yeah. love seat? This is a new sponsored thing that we just got. So I want you to give us like honest, your honest initial, like how does it feel? Does yeah, it feel man. flimsy? Does it feel like comfy? Would you actually use this? No, this is like as soon as I sat down, outdoor furniture wise, it's top tier. For sure. Come on, man, lock on. Don't lock on me right now. I think you give. I give it like an eight point two. Ooh, out of ten. That's a solid rating. That's a good rating. Boom. All right, so now I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff out here. This thing's actually super comfortable. You like it? Yeah. Just so that it's not like, easy to sit down for a minute. Yeah? It's a little. It relax? What? That's what you said. Oh, yeah. 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 Are you going to smoke the espresso? Yeah. Interesting. Mike's I'm not. I'm glad I got coconut water. Thing nice and hot. We're gonna smoke it out first, get it super hot because it's a Traeger, and then we're just gonna see how that impacts the flavor at all. Not that I had the original cup, but I figured I'll have the next cup. Actually, no, that's a little bit in there, and I'll have another cup. Of this cup. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm to bed too late. Yep, for dates. Yeah, you be up to actually said they could. You got like issues like, 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 like sweet and spicy. Yes. Check that. There should seem like a calorie sugar here. Investigate. Oh, no, that's great. Investigate. And anything that's like not it's like less than two percent. Anything that like you wouldn't want like super low. Less than two percent. So you're not even really getting. Any Sugar free too. Sugar free. Yes, What's that shit got a lot of sugar? Yeah, your typical barbecue sauce would be like sweet baby rays. That's so good though. But it's so bad for you. So good. <laughs> it's good, it's but like it's not crack. like it's like corn syrup. That stuff's like crack. Corn syrup. Sweet baby rays. Sweet baby, sweet baby, sweet baby, sweet baby I figured right. out that's that's what Clean Eats uses on their like as their uh, barbecue man. sauce too. Yeah. Right. I asked them one day. Make I was like, dead? I was like, oh, I don't know about Sweet Baby Ray's. They need this guy. <laughs> they need this guy oh, here. What's up, Chris? Exactly what oh, my. Hey, Chris. Chris, your buddy's here. All right, so what's now up, let's Chris? go into, let's highlight the trigger here. This is this. He yeah. comes to the stream a lot. And it's got a, guys, it's got 17% off right now. This is Father's Day. Hold on, let's see if we can get the. It's that gesture control. Also, I'll highlight this is the Grillman's. Traeger cover. So this is not only for a grill, but this one's specifically for the Traeger. And the cool thing is it's got the handles right here. It's actually got the wheels kind of caught up underneath it. Ashley, like, she leveled this puppy up by tucking it under the wheels. But I don't really honestly do. She, like, took it to a whole other level. <laughs> what, yo? <laughs> what was that? See that spider trying to get me? Oh, I mean, bro. I was like, oh, what? Baby, dude. When it comes to spiders, I for sure am. <laughs> I almost left Thailand like a month early because there was a spider in my house. Wow. It's not like a regular spider. A huntsman spider? <laughs> Look up a huntsman spider. They eat yeah. like lizards. Fight, girl, man. Yeah, no problem. Are you just trying to kill me? No problem. 
Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that was fine. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> All right, so we got the cover off. Let's get the Traeger going. What's this thing? Yeah, Joe Hogan. Haha, <laughs> Spider. Don't laugh at me, Delbert. I mean, you can laugh at me. It's all right. Definitely laugh at him. Oh, it's, it's focused on me. What's up, guys? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. We're going to just reposition this. Oh, jeez. What did you get from uh... Oh, you... Who saw me catch some you get from the sauna? Uh, a turmeric ginger tea. Oh, All right, so we got our pellets already in there. So check out how simple this is, guys. Look, we just first we're going to smoke it, right? So the smoke, you'll see the smoke coming out over here as it's kind of like locked onto you, Christian. It's like, no, I want Christian now. Come on, over here. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. And... It's honestly like super simple. Like I'm not like a super sophisticated grill master by any capacity, but it made me feel like I could do it. And if I could do it, like anyone can do it kind of a deal. Right? You can do it like, why are you laughing? I just keep picturing you freaking out with a spider. Yeah. Hey man, you ever had like a spider crawling on you when you weren't expecting it? It's not cool. Yeah, I don't like spiders. But you scream. <laughs> yeah, because it's scary. Like, I thought you got stung by something. Nah, dude. It's just, it just like, it might as well have stung me because, like, it stung my soul. It was like, just pouncing on me. Oh, uh, you got the white shirt in Yeah, well, shout out to Project Pantheon and Luke. You got a little blurry. Oh, no. Oh, this is like, wait, right here. Up the side. Oh. A little better. Is it from the coffee or from the spider attack? Yeah, that right coffee is not good. <laughs> all right so we're just going to keep the obs on if you guys have questions on the other sponsored products in the carousel i will gladly highlight them and dig into them but we're not going to go too crazy now check this out we got a nice little yeah all this amazon crazy right Down. Turkey cheddar, hot dogs. Going with our veggies. Going with the grillman. It's all sponsored stuff, baby. Except for the food. Shout out to Aldi. 20 bucks. Aldi. Aldi. Crazy. Aldi's starting with Aldi now. So it's a game Tighten changer. Tighten it up. Aldi's is a game changer. It is, man. They got good stuff, too. My mom was telling me the story back in the day. Like, uh, I'm, I'm, so when I was like a kid, my dad broke his back. So they're like, so you couldn't work. So they went from like making like, you know, X amount of money to like, not like very minimum money. And she would always shop in kind of, kind of almost bougie places. And our, the neighbor was like, listen, we'll take you to all these. I'm sure what to do with like $20. And my, this was my mom's Look, mindset smoking. back then. Now we crank it up. To she was high. like, it smells weird in all these. Like, I don't want to shop there. It smells weird. Yeah, like that's how she thought. You're yeah, about yeah. to smell weird with all the smoke on you. And then she was like, uh, and she went and has been a game changer ever since. Aldi, bro. They got like you can get steaks there too. And all these other things. I like to buy my like ground beef there too. Yeah, they, they have grass fed bro. That's good. Like the big packets. Yeah. Pretty That's cheap. Awesome. Now we're going to take this, throw it on the grill if I don't knock everything else over. We're just going to see what that's like. Perfect. Then what I'll do is I'll put the sauce on at the end. Once they get all the yeah. This, and I got this for the tray. And then look, we got another shout out to Grillman's. Got our digital thermometer. Make sure it's cooked right. It's even got this little magnet. Apparently it's not that strong, though. I'll be honest with you guys. Just so in case you're expecting to stick onto the side. Like, look, it's not really... I'm really sticking on to the side there. Oh, okay. maybe it maybe it was just like where I put it. Yeah. Maybe it was hollow. Oh, because that's where the pellets are. I don't really know, guys, but I'm just gonna be real with you. All right, so we'll wait for that. Get the cheese out of here. I'm actually gonna put the cheese in the top. Save that for you. Christian, you made some good leg lock stuff today. Capsule there. Have you met Cash before a trainer? Oh, though? yeah. Man. You know, yeah, you know. I love training. I usually miss like We this. have very similar styles. So yeah, that's awesome. It's really fun. 
So I, like I miss his um I usually miss his like when he's on the mats. But shout out to Cash. Right, let's see. We'll get this all going and then we'll put pads on and start doing some pads. Bam boom bam. Highlight. Let's see. Ooh, highlight. I don't know. If you guys got questions on anything in the chat? Do you guys want to particularly see anything? Otherwise, we're going to start rocking out to music. I'm going to highlight the Soundcore Anchor 2. Well, we got some serious deals, too. 24% off that massage gun, 38% off the weighted adjustable bench. Check this. But he's got some really good sound for like, look how tiny that is. You can throw it in the pool, it'll be like good, waterproof. It's got a 24 hour charge. It's so. Oh, why did he do that? Oh, that was it. I was trying to listen to a certain song. Here we go. I'll get a song too. Don't you judge me. I keep messing it up. Get out of here, Siri. Get out of here, Siri. So wait, no, it's all me stories. How's, so guys, Noah's preparing for MMA fight. Christian's preparing for, is it Muay Thai or kickboxing? What's like the rule set? Do you even know? We're going to call it Muay Thai. Muay Thai, PKB. <laughs> yeah, um, so I should first. I should be having a super fight, uh, a jiu-jitsu super oh, fight nice. July 1st. Is that uh, a week or two? No, oh, you're doing a green one? Yeah, it's like the Seth Savon. Okay, yeah, the uh, one you were talking about yeah. at the Solid It's like Tooth Planet Greenville runs it. Like the dude oh, nice. who's supposed to fight at 165. Which, so they haven't found someone. Okay. So I'm waiting on that. But then I'm making my uh, MMA debut September 16th. Oh, at, yeah. Uh, yeah. Convention Center. And that's it's day of, right? It's yeah, day of. Lands are day of. So check this out. This is like a little sticky thing that came with these mitts. So I can stick it right onto the side and not lose it. So yeah, how's the uh, cage work? Do you know what? Is it going to be in a ring or a cage? It's going to be a cage. Good. Noise. And if you guys got questions for Noah or for Christian on their training, on what's going down, feel free to let us know in the chat, the AMA style. At least for me. I can't speak for them. Probably some things they want to talk about. I know that um, Jag and Young Sam they went out to like this alien convention or like this alien thing in Spruce Pines. Like, All right, that's cool. Did I come in here? Yeah. Well, I mean, they have these plans for like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like well, time to go get these aliens, son. Hey, man. Aliens are cool. Can I pass you the Uber? Ubers? <laughs> Oh, no, you can't say that. Either. Especially not during Friday. Yeah. <laughs> you going to sit in that, bro? Oh, like, what are you doing? Like, right yeah, I'm moving stuff over here. Don't worry. Okay. Just, I feel I like you. Know, I want to be, be a part of the conversation. conversation. Be a part yeah. of the conversation. Yeah, we did that as like a flow to warm up, and then we went over some other heel hook kind of stuff. But it was again very similar to like what we went over. But he went over just a lot of the good mechanics. Okay. Dude, I always thought it was crazy how like a couple days later the exact video. Remember right? I sent you that? Yeah. That's the algorithm. The algorithm knows. My phone just. Like, oh, you watching leg lock jujitsu? Okay. <laughs> Talk about like there it is. Like Robert Eagle. I could deal with you all. You know what you get you Jitsu hurts, man. <laughs> Jitsu hurts. Alright, so I'm just gonna make all of this. If we don't need it, that's good. Expect yeah, yeah, the, the sauna. He still throws calories. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Sweats after training, just like, help, like even though I'm wearing these now, yeah, keep, keep, us, keep it rolling. I was wearing a hoodie before the sauna. Yeah, after the sauna, I, I saw Ron. I saw Ron there. Ron? Oh yeah, yeah I forgot. Ron Saturday. He said he wanted to come. Yeah, but he had a barbecue. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I work. He had to work. He oh. asked me if we were coming. I think we should start doing that on Saturdays after class. Like, yeah, I think that's a good move. The day he goes. That's a good time. I agree. He goes, I think, at 1 o'clock. Right after training. Yeah. They're so good. Didn't you say you should wait a little bit? So, the idea is uh, for the cold plunge. Cold plunge. At least for, like, if you watch, like, Andrew Huberman and, like, some of the scientists that talk about it, it's the cytokine response and the inflammation management. I'm good. Thank you. Terrifying. Not you got it. I'm about beat up. I'm a little beat up like the area. I even do it so hard to fight the fight. So I guess that's why this is. Fight pretty hard this year. You gonna do July? You gonna do that July 8th thing? Like you did last time? What's July 8th? When all the people come out to spar? Oh, yeah. You gonna spar? For me? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I'm trying to think, I don't even know about me here. Yeah. Or. You guys are going to drill with each other. And I'm just going to give you feedback while you're doing it. When I say drill with each other, you're literally going to throw like some back and forth things. I got but some gloves too. I'm not I figured you, like, if you want to put on the MMA, do you have small gloves? Yeah, I got, I got MMA gloves. All right, put your MMA gloves, string guards. What do you have, Christian? Do you have anything? I don't know. You know I got you. I can't do it. In the streets, you don't wear shin guards. Right, y'all? Right. All right, so I'm going to tweak with some of the products that I got in the carousel. Let's see if I got any room. One thing I want to highlight, guys, we got some really cool stuff. I got some new creatine coming in that we're going to highlight. We got creatine monohydrate we're going to be sampling. We got all these other fun tech things, our speakers, Lamical, we got all that. 
I'm just going to literally start on one end and work our way through the carousel. I'm going to set a five-minute timer for the burgers and stuff before I start flipping things. We'll see how the smoke yeah. Put your video on. Woo! So it's pressing. Lifestyle of fitness resistance band. Damn, I see. Look at that. Know. Good you know. We actually sold out, so I actually I have to go to our manufacturer next week and order more. So we're gonna have them restocked awesome. up. That's awesome. I appreciate the support, man. And then we're dropping. I'm publishing three books this month. So by July first, we're gonna have three new books out. Our right, first on. two are bestsellers in their category on Amazon. So thank you guys also for downloading them, checking them out. I got it. Are we gonna be on the camera when we do these? Like, uh, like probably not. Right. We'll probably have you over here. So just like stay over there. Because I'm gonna have you guys in the grass. You can live your life, bro. The camera might like veer over to you, but if you're like drilling and stuff, it can't really complain. And if they do, I get kicked off. Of it. <laughs> Is it? It's not ideal. Put on the. When was the last time you wore small gloves? Yeah, yeah I was. Yeah, I was gonna say put on those small gloves. Work, work them with Noah so that you can also get a good Better to be in shape to go hard than to not. All right, so we're gonna throw some sweet and spicy on this. And I'm just gonna flip these puppies. So that's the beautiful thing about this kind of grill. Unfortunately, they're sold out right now, so you can't get it. But it holds all those things in one spot. Kind of that nice next up. Yeah. Yeah. Again, if you guys got questions, let me know in the comments. And voila. Is it zooming in a little bit? Look at that zoom. All right. So what we're going to do is we've got – I'll set a timer. You're going to do – how many – what's your what's your round of minutes, though? Is it fives or threes? Threes, right? Yeah. All right. So we're going to do a three-minute timer. Um, and what I want you to do is literally just do jab cross back and forth to feel it and get comfortable with the small glove. Ready? So just go, you jab cross, you jab cross. So you'll catch and then return. So you'll throw jab cross, boom, and then you'll throw them back. Jab cross, boom. And I want you to see how Christian's like kind of catching and pairing. Just catch them. Like you'd focus, right. like focus, but catch them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, good. Good. Um, um. I like those gloves, by the way. Those are good sparring gloves. You got a little yeah, bit more padding. Yeah. No distractions. Uh, one minute down. So again, guys, we got all the fun here. So we're grilling. We got our pad work going. Getting our guys better. Yeah, Blue Bear. Don't mind me in deep thought, y'all, as we're going through this. Oh, Yummy Mike, you are... Yeah, I'll teleport that food over to you, Chris. I got you. I'm just going to send it through. All right, so now let's see if you can move in space a little bit. Move to your left. Move to – you're a little restricted to the right, so you might even want to go over into this space. I leave that up to you guys. you got a lot of area to play with. But ideally, I want you guys to be able to start moving laterally now. Yeah. So, like, ideally, like, think about anchoring the center, but you can move left and right. So you don't have to move that much, but just move a little bit. Like, jab, cross, move to the left or to the right. Yeah, just so you get in the habit of circling a little bit after you throw your combo. Yeah, good. 
Exactly. We're thinking about if we're circling, ideally we're circling to the lead hand, right? We're not circling to their power. And every once in a while, you might want to cut the other way, though, just to throw them off. Not talking to you, Siri. Get out of here. All right, we got about a minute left. A minute left. And we'll check on here. We'll check on the food, too, y'all. We got the Traeger, Traeger going down. In a, oh, in a time machine, Chris? I don't know if a time machine will do it, bro. I mean, I guess hypothetically it would. Yeah. So no, I want you to think about every like two to three steps, your right hand drifts from your face. It's like you're kind of like moving and as you move, you're shifting to your left, your right hand rocks, which creates a vulnerable spot, right? And a lot of people do, that's the only reason I'm highlighting it, but get in the habit of not letting that hand drift from your face, especially with small gloves. You have way less of a shield to protect yourself. And time, take like 30 seconds, grab a sip of water, and now we'll start to kind of piggyback on this. But I'm gonna check in here. Actually, temperature is not even close to done yet, so I'm not even going to mess with that too much. But what I can do, check out what's cool about Traeger. I can slide this sucker right through here. Steal some water. Hold on. Can you come over here? Come over here and just hold this up. Hold this up. Okay. Just, just hold it up. Don't worry about not having clothes on. You're all right. Not bad. I just don't want to do it. It's like, oh, geez. It's all right. It's for fitness purposes, guys. So I'm going to put this in this pork sauce, and that's going to help me check the temperature. Boom. Good. Need some water? Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of sick, though. Yeah, I got some yeah, water. Yeah, that's yeah, I Go get some water. All right, so now we check that temperature. How are you feeling, by the way? Now, any questions or anything? That's the only thing I, had, like, I saw. Other than that, you have good yeah. range. You're not cutting yourself off. Yeah. You're not, like, because a lot of times, sometimes people will jam ourselves on our straight punches, especially yeah. for takedown reasons. But you're getting good length though. Okay, so I, yeah, I just getting a little lazy with it. It's got to stay conscious. And, and the only yeah. reason I highlight, it, I mean, it helps if you're like for like level changes. That's right. the only like compromise, and it's hard sometimes because you do want to be able to like hand drop for shooting stuffing, level changing, or for. But the tighter, because like what happens even when we shift, sometimes we get chill, right? And this drifts. Right, right. But if they can time that, is trouble. And it only takes one, especially with small moves, especially in that small. So grab your sip, and then what I want you guys to do now is you're going to now, instead of catching it, you're going to slip, slip. So you're going to jab, cross, slip, slip, jab, cross, slip, slip. So you guys should be able to kind of go back and forth at a relatively quicker pace because of that slip, sip. So the second you slip, no way, you fire back. Same thing for you, Christian. Jab, cross, slip, jab, cross, slip, back, pop, 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 pop. Slip his punches. So you're going to try and jab cross. He's going to slip your punches, and then you're going to – or he's going to jab cross and return. Bop, bop, and then bop, bop. Yeah. Bop, bop. And you can start slower and then build faster over time. Take the first minute to start slow. Feel your footwork. Feel your head positioning. Is your weight falling forwards, backwards, left, or right? Do we feel good with our footing? Then would we say, like, all right, how would I step transition to a takedown? Got all the parts keep going down over here too, y'all. See what's picking up the temp. Not even hot enough to get that temperature picked up. Ah, oh, that's way too hot to be doing that. It's not a smart idea. So learn from my experience, guys. Do not touch the hot thermometer. Damn, all right. All right, now we start to pick it up a little bit. Now, you don't have to go, like, super hard. Don't obviously try and, like, hurt each other. Not even really trying to make contact. You're just giving more accountability for the look. It also feels weird with the grass and stuff, but in case we need to go on street beefs, we're ready. Get that quick viral moment. Bop, 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 good. And this gets your heart rate up, too, if we can get that pacing down. Yeah, and in this one, you don't even have to move. You just stay in the pocket now. 
Get comfortable staring down that barrel. Smelling good. It smells so good over here. I wish you could smell it. Good. Good. Better know with those hands staying tight, dude. Good, Christian. Good flow. And time. Take like 30 seconds. Grab a sip. We'll go into the next round. Yeah, yeah. Cut your nails, jeez! I don't even know that's what you're saying, but that's what I heard. I think you poked yourself in the eye a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I poked my own, so. Cut your own nails, jeez! I definitely gotta go to that doctor that talks about Mike. Oh, what's up? Get that hip, my hip looked up, for sure. Oh, I have too, yeah. Yeah, because I was, I was just opposite stance and just throwing a knee, and I was like, dude. It's just, it's like I have two different bodies. Like, like in the right like, side, yeah. My right side is just like, just no bueno. The right side is like a murderer. The left side's like a small peasant boy. That's just good. holding you down. Yeah. Just <laughs> dragging on. Just dragging. All right. So now, what I want to do is I want you to use that right hand. So this is going to be more so specifically for you, know, and we're going to apply it a little bit in how we think about it differently for you, Christian. So you're going to use your. Jab. So let me ask you this, actually. What do you like? Because I assume the plan is like you can strike, but really want to grapple and take it to the ground. Yeah. Is that a fair assessment of? Yeah, what you say earlier, you want to shoot the right, get them get the cage. Yeah. I'm a, I mean, I'm gonna control the air. Yeah. You know, like yeah, use one two, two, you know, strong, like that's what yeah. I've been working. So so now show me kind of what's been like your go to. So now no one can see it. We won't talk, and like honestly, like they shouldn't probably be saying this. Um, but, and honestly, I was like at this level, like, hey, if you're going to study me and hold, highlight my holes, let's see. But um, give me just a little run through, like, what you've been liking for setting up that take down. Yeah, man, like, so, especially, like, uh, you know, like, you know, controlling the distance. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one, two, one, two, like, backing them up. Yeah. Like, controlling the Getting them against the cage. Yeah. Okay, perfect. All right, so that one, two, that's why I wanted to use the one, two because it was the most common combo to shoot a takedown. So you're going to go one, two. You're going to fire one, two in exchange. You're going to level change, go under. So you get at least some realistic feedback because probably if you get them going back, cool, it's easy takedown. If not, if they press forward, just level change to that takedown and see how that feels. And then you respond one, two, but he's going to level change for a takedown. Now you're not finishing the takedown, just get the entry. Okay. Doing it. And then, yeah, but now what you're going to do in exchange, just so you can give them a little bit more and you'll get some striking benefit out of it. After that combo, you'll reset. Then you're going to throw one, two inside kick, just so you can get the look for an inside kick, okay. which also might lead to maybe you grab that, you shoot for a takedown or some ass, just so you can get the look. Of it. All right. Because low kicks are going to be pretty popular and they're going to be also where you might be able to score a takedown as well. In my opinion. Yeah. But again, you're placing it. Yeah, like, honestly, you can, if you feel good checking it, yeah, I would say check it. But, like, again, we're placing it, so it shouldn't really do too yeah, much right. damage-wise. All right, ready? Let's rock it. Yeah, so as – yeah, exactly. His through, as he throws his one-two, you're going under. So Noah will start one-two. Boom, boom. You throw one-two, he drops. Yes, exactly. Now we'll reset. Now Christian's going to throw one-two left inside kick. And you're going to either parry, parry, and check, parry, and parry, maybe shoot the takedown off of it, 
Like, you can play with different options, but those are the two things I want you going back and forth with. And you'll just go back and forth. I've set the timer already. Yeah, exactly. And then you can find, all right, where's, especially as they start the jab, that's like they're committed on that lead leg. You can make it maybe potentially easier to shoot it. Yeah, he, you could just, the second he starts to go, you can go too now. So now I'm going to check also this espresso. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There you go. Uh, let's check the heat on this espresso. This is my second espresso. Oh, there's nothing in here. All right, so this is kind of cool. This is a fun way to know if it's ready or not. Because if there's nothing in here, it's obviously not ready. So I'm going to just... Throw this back on. Cool little fun thing to learn. Now I'm going to just record while we're going through this. Fun here, y'all. We got a Traeger. Oh, starting to smoke. That's just me. Now I get to just kind of sit and chill, y'all. You guys get to sit with me. Living our best life here. This, this is the kind of life I like to live. Making food, having some, some training in the backyard. Chilling. Good. Ah, uh, but yeah, don't shorten your range, Christian. Yeah, you don't have to jam yourself up. He's got to figure out how to close that gap, too. Now, what will happen, though... Yeah, 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 yeah. And then when Noah's going, though, it's going to be at his range. So then you're probably going to be jammed on your one, two anyway, but that's okay. That's where you're going to have to feel it up. Yeah, exactly. You want to close that range with the one, two to help with your takedown. Yeah, exactly. Go right into the dirt and time. Grab a sip of water, guys, and then we'll go back into it. I oh, will keep playing off of that. Now, I want to ask you. <laughs> What, if anything, came up for you guys that felt good, didn't feel good, or any observations for it? On that, like, when he throws that low kick, like, right into a, like, high crotch or, like, that single. Yeah. And then taking it up. Yeah. It's Elevating up. or hoisting it over. Yeah, like, setting that up. Seems like a good, good setup for a single. And one thing I would invite you to think about, too, is if we can simultaneously not just grab it, but, like, check into it, it'll bring it closer to you. The downside... Depending on how we play that, hold on, I'm gonna just freeze this camera so it doesn't like half of it. Yeah, like on the inside, if I'm throwing my front, how's he gonna like check it? All right, cool. Let me jump across. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're gonna throw that one. Yeah, cross. Now let's just say I check it first. I'm not fully checking it, but I got right here. Now that's like, man, it comes right up. Right? But yeah, if you can hook it, or even if I just like attack his momentum, and even, but if you can absorb some of that initial force, so you're not eating that on your leg, right. and it's like here to coming around, or here to however you want to like, if you can absorb some of that and then shoot to it, and then wait until your hands are dropped to the last minute. That's just my experience of it. Everyone's going to have their own. But, and I'm back, y'all. What? Yeah. What? Like if he checks it. Yeah, ex good. exactly. So then right. that so makes you, good. especially in MMA, reconsider what you're doing. Yeah. That's my favorite thing. That's why I love. And when I think about checks, I think of the thin, the shins in three parts: upper third, middle third, bottom third. Upper thirds for checking, middle thirds for contact, bottom thirds for breaking your stuff. Like don't don't hit with that bottom third as much as you possibly can. The middle thirds where you want to hit with, the upper thirds where you want to check with. That's why Chris Weidman broke Silva's leg. 
does Weidman hit with his upper third? Silva made contact with that bottom third. It's like the worst scenario to combine, which is kind of ideal for the checker, not ideal for the kicker. So that's my two. So I would say let's run back through that again. And then for you, Christian, when you're throwing that, I want you to feel how how long you're leaving your leg out there too. Because the longer you leave your leg out there, the more likely it is for him to take down or check or for you to be out of position and striking in general, not just MMA. Yeah, so get it in, get it out. Or get out, get back. Yeah. Let's see how we do Let's rock it. Why is this thing? Is this thing not picking up the temp? Oh, it's not fully plugged in. Aha. 140. Ooh, sausage is almost ready, yo. Oh, yeah. Live streams and drilling going down right now. <laughs> but again, any questions, you let me know in the chat, y'all. Otherwise, we're just going to straight hang here. I'm going to catch. You're going to see me. Catch in there. Yeah. And then that's okay. If, even if you don't grab it after that initially he gets back quick, then you could reshoot. You could chain it together. You could chain wrestle. You could go to the body too. You could go back up to the head. That's the one thing I tell Christian a lot too is like, show me the person that hits the body the most. I'll show you the winner. Even in MMA, if you can work the body, it you'll you'll hurt them and it'll set up takedowns too. Yeah, and that's just like just getting your hands on them too. Well, you know what I mean? Got about 30 more seconds. Yeah. Nice. Um, uh, oh. Yeah, there you go. So we got like inside trip there. See if you can get off that first slip of the jab, shoot a double. Like off that first slip, that's where I think of the highest percentage. Doesn't mean you can't get it after that. But I think getting him extended out like that, yeah. And you know it's coming. So now slow down that jab just so you can feel it and see it for a second. Do it one more time. Boom. Yes. Hey, there you go. Now if you can get this, it's hard when it's like higher, higher, higher speeds. But you just keep building that. And that's time, by the way, guys. Grab a sip. And then, honestly, I'm curious. Like, that's, like, really what I wanted to have you guys mostly focus on. I'm curious what, if anything's jumping out at you guys. Uh, yeah, I guess just timing. Like, the takedown off the split. That's, and that's to be yeah. the biggest thing, man. Just like, keep not building that you, timing. Like, finish that combo. Not, you Definitely know? not letting you stick with you. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And especially if, like... Like you were saying, like, why let the leg kick, pull it back quick? Sit with that jab, right? If I let that thing linger, yeah, you kind of shoot, caught. and you shoot right there. I can't really right. hit you because now my arm's kind of out. Yeah. If I'm going slow, like some people get lazy all the way back, you know, you just. And you that's where, like, if you could check the yeah, kick the first round, don't try and get a takedown off that kick the first round. 
Right, right. That's what I was thinking too. Like even off like the one two, like not just like immediately. Like you know what I mean? Like shooting off the slip, like yeah. slipping a couple times, make yeah. a thing. You know, maybe go. To the, so now let's yeah. practice that. Let's go. Jab, cross, jab to the body. So when okay. he goes jab, cross, and then you jab, cross, or turn, as you are, you slip and then slip. So slip and shoot to the body. So real quickly, like Christian, just like run through this. So you'll throw your jab, cross, and as you're throwing it, or let me, uh, let's say I'll throw jab, cross instead of it. So you catch the jab, actually, fuck it. Let's just both there as we throw the jab, cross, and slip into the body. So you're going to start by throwing jab, cross in the head. So as you throw, pop, pop. And then I'm going to throw a jab cross. Pop. Yeah, exactly. The tricky, the hardest part to me is the cross on the slip. That's where you have the biggest gap of movement. So as you throw it, this one's the most natural. That's the hardest. One. That's where you have the highest percentage Flipping chance. Yeah. yeah. And then when you come across off the jab, that's where you can then get a little sneaky with like after that. You throw just like a hook if you want to roll, depending on how you feel. You're just going to have it up here, here. And then you guys both will do that. You do the same thing too. Because that both, you can't. It's not going to hurt you to go to the body unless, like, I don't know, you have horrible head position, you get caught with a knee or something. You're not going to head. Exactly. So you you have the window and the opportunity. So let's get them to the ground and just lift their leg off. All right, ready? Let's rock it. We'll do one more round and then the food will probably be ready. Yes. Yes, yes. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Head movement's okay, but we're hitting to the body too, right? I'm about to play you guys some freaking Italiano music. Get ready to rock your pants off. Play you guys some good music too. Don't worry, I got you guys. This is a playlist I made exclusively for Lena and Tessa. Oh, this is a good one too. That's so many good songs. Oh, we got another discount, y'all. Take advantage of it. Boom, boom. There you go. Boom, boom. Good. And especially when we're when they're extended is where the body's most vulnerable, right? So when you're extended out, that's where you can hurt them and drop them. Right. See how we're doing with this live stream. We got about 15 more minutes, now we're done, y'all. And we also got our cozy again. Shout out for the amazing cozy love seat. I'll highlight that. Now, the other thing I want to highlight with our love seat is something I haven't gotten around to yet. You can see we got all the stuff here. Now, if I really wanted to, the cool thing, I could take all the things I have that are on this love seat. Let's say I wanted to take advantage of some space. I'm just going to kind of move some of this. Now, check this out. I can lift this. And it's a little storage unit. So let's put this over here. Boom. I got a little lift right here. Look, I can lift this up. It has storage underneath it. I can either put the cushions in or let's say, I don't know, we want to put their sneakers under here, right? We can put whatever we want. This pops all the way up. And it becomes a really easy way to have storage. Cool. I think that's a really cool feature that even my kids like to kind of mess around and play with it. Just throw stuff up here and get nice and cozy. I'm going to enjoy the love seat here as I watch them get their drills on. Got about 40 seconds, y'all. Again, shout out for the awesome coziness. Oh, that means the meat's ready. Okay. All right, the sausage is ready. Oh. All right, so 20 seconds, the food's ready, y'all. All right, I'm just going to tear this sucker off. Now, the cool thing is I can just pop it off. Boom. Now, the only thing I'm going to be mindful of is touching this thing so I don't burn myself. And time, guys. All right, you can take all the gear off, hydrate, now we'll eat. What? 
Yeah, let's get you. Some. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. You said earlier you were like, I'm hungry. I can just tell. After rolling with you a few times, it gets me tired. Don't tell me how to live my life. No, that's like I can just tell. Not I. I can tell. Oh yeah, we got a squirter. Like more, any more? Got a squirter on our hands. I can just tell you. Oh, I definitely do. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. Just through like. I was good before the sauna house. Then yeah. I sweat everything out. Because I ate a little song. Yeah. Up early in the morning. Trained last night. Trained the day before. 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 <laughs> now let's see if we got the coffee up here. Well, we got a little bit of espresso. A little bit of espresso. I don't ever do drills with them and make those. Different, right? That's fun. I like Even it. doing Muay Thai with them is really nice. I like it. Roll them with them on. Like, that's what I got to start doing. Roll yeah, them all the time. They change the food. Yeah. Your hands get tried. Or... I feel I can't wait for it because I, I think know. the turkey burger is good too. I feel like a lot of times I'll be taking kicks, but if I had like MMA gloves on, just those kicks would, you know? It's like you land a good one, two on somebody, they got to learn to respect it. Yeah, there's it's a cleaner catch. And gloves. Oh, Even the big ones, you know, but the smaller ones, it's like you really got to respect it. Respect on my name. Who else did you tell the coach? You told Sam? No, I told Sam. I told Deuce, Phil. I told everybody. And I told him like last minute, like an hour prior. That's my way to roll. That's what I usually like to do. I don't plan things what very Deuce much. And Phil Phil's like, oh, I'm going to my dad's for something. And then Deuce and Boo Boo and Isaac and all them just don't respond. That's usually how they roll. They did respond? Yeah, they're usually just like consumed at work and stuff. By the time they can answer, they like forget. Yeah. <laughs> or they just don't like me. Either way, that's all right. Yeah, you guys enjoy a little bit, eat some food, hang out, talk. People on the sport, do you get good? It's true. Sweat a little more than I thought I would. Yeah. Can <laughs> <laughs> you hold this really quick, Christian? I know some other people like points over here. I'm going to take this off. Just look at the, the espresso. Now get up in here. Notice how there's coffee. Yeah. Veggies look good too. I promise. We should be good. Y'all don't see that. Oh, flex. <laughs> Dude, every time, hurts the every time I get in the foot, it's just like cramped out. Oh, my back hurts the foot. How's your face feel when you flex? So kill me. My neck feels so, my neck feels so much better after that saw me. Yet again, he's point. getting some heat and some blood flow. I just saw your text. Who? Yeah, me and Pat, we had a good one. Cash, yeah. Cash is good time. Yeah. You guys want toasted buns? Or you like soft, like regular buns? Toasted. Toasted. All right, wait, I'm going to take the burgers off of here. Yeah, I'm about, about like sitting 165. Nice. It's 155, man. Yeah, in perspective, I need, the, I need more protein. Uh, we're going to get your protein today. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah, I'm there today. <laughs> I am, I swear. I'm at like 21 grams, like, then. But I'm very yeah, 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 you're fine. Well, I saw him funny. Hamilton sent a couple photos. That dude's looking yo, funny. Yeah, he's looking very swollen. <laughs> swollen city. I mean, even you over there, Blue Bear. <laughs> yeah, you got to calm down. Man. Sure, man. <laughs> Don't start so you got two choices. You can either get Stovey or you can get Blue Bear. About just Blue. Okay, Blue. My boy, Blue. Yeah. My boy, Blue. <laughs> Blue's a legend. You know that? I told you I'm telling you. Yo, you guys want cheese on your burger? <laughs> Are you <laughs> cheese now? I forgot if I asked you this. Uh, you say no. The way you responded is Yeah, bad. I do not. I used to have a nickname. I think that was dirt. 
dirt? Yeah. Did you get slammed in the dirt? What? Because I played baseball, oh, okay. I would always, like, anything hit near me, I'd lay out in the dirt. Like, I had, like, a helmet. It was, like, I had, like, the, like a spray-painted helmet on the back with, like, a cool design. It was, like, dirty. Dirty. Okay. Right, see if we got any other questions <laughs> in the chat, y'all. We're going to start to bring it home now. It's the end. Getting towards the end of the stream. I got the battery went off. Talk about this. I'll highlight some of the other sponsored stuff. We got our love seat we talked about. Some great Father's Day gifts, y'all. I'm just saying. I wouldn't be mad if anyone wanted to get me some creatine monohydrate as a Father's Day gift. I'm just going to say that, too. Some on there. I'm gonna toast all these up and I'll get you guys plates and stuff. Dude, my boxing coach was showing me, dude. Like, where he is, you know what I'm saying? Like, that slit, yeah. like up against the wall. Where he is, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, like, and then yeah. come with the body, and then you yeah. can switch back, boom, and then shoot. Like, 100%. And that foot switch, too, will throw them off, and it will set up your, like, you can throw a straight, a straight off that, you can throw uppercuts off that. There's a lot of cool shit you can I'm, I'm love to learn. It's all fun, baby. It's fun. And oh, I'm gonna set up this awesome tree swing here that we got. We're gonna get that on the way. It's a lots of funsies. Espresso's done, baby. Nice. Good. Have to kill some rollers. How's it going, bro? Back to that's the natural that what's it called? The like aphrodisiac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to like take a stick out. Oh, is that what that means? Yeah. I don't know this big word. I think that's the word I'm looking for. That's right? exactly where you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, I don't know this word. That feels good. Boom. All right, I'm going. Got that. Look at this beautiful soda. We're all good. I'm gonna bring this inside. I think that's gonna do it for the live stream, y'all. The cheese looks good. I'm bringing it home. Wow. I guess the girl's lucky. <laughs> there we go. Probably went to the party. The party? Where's at the park? I guess that's what we did. All right, y'all. That's gonna do it. Yeah, y'all. I'll see you guys later. Highlight anything? Let's check the questions. We got the grill. I think, I think that's it. Let me just double check, make sure I didn't miss anything. Though. We're going to just double check, guys. We're going to double check, make sure. And in the meantime, I'm going to get you guys plates. You <laughs> get some dang good leverage off of that punch. Dude. Superman punch off. I like doing that. Uh-huh. Like, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Off the wall. Dude, I'll throw the paint. Dude, I'll just do it. I'll just throw it out there. But they're always like, oh, what the fuck? Some people are bad. Yeah. I, I like it with the jazz, too. Some people are bad. Dude, one thing I've been working is throwing the jazz in the volume. Just having the jazz. All right, that's it. Nah, like, like, now we're just going to put the grill like, on. Like, like throwing the eye thing. Like, that's it. We're going to let it cool down first before it throws puppy on. It's looking like there. Especially if they're like looking your eyes. Oh, yeah. Maybe that's what you got Yes, sir, bro. I'm working. <laughs> Some dude asked me that the other day. Like, oh, what do you ask?